The news is now. They crossed paths in the worst of circumstances just a few days ago. Antoinette Tuff talked down the gunman who fired shots at an Atlanta elementary school. And through much of the standoff, she was on the phone with 911 operator Kendra McCray. Well, tonight on CNN's AC360, the two met for the first time, hugged and cried. Police say the, they stopped 20-year-old Michael Hill from taking dozens of young lives. Listen to this. I'm in the front office. Oh, he just went outside and started shooting. Okay. Oh, can I run? He said he don't care if he dies. He don't have nothing to live for. But don't feel bad, baby. My husband just left me after 33 years. I realized at that time that it was bigger than me. He was really a hurting young man, so I just start praying for him. I can help you. Want me to try? You want me to? Wait, you want to talk to them? Want me to talk to them? Let me tell you something, baby. I ain't never so scared in all days of my life. Me either. But you did great. Oh, Jesus. You did great. Incredible. Well, Tuff's calm demeanor, as you heard, and kind approach helped end the half hour ordeal without any injuries. The suspect is under arrest tonight. Joining me now to talk about this woman's remarkable composure and how she was able to save so many lives, Dr. Buzz. He is a psychologist for the Mental Health Court Advocacy Program. And unbelievable, if you, yes. you listen to her, she is so calm. She yeah. really is. But uh, what she did is, is pretty miraculous. Let, let's talk about it because she sure. she engaged him in a conversation. I mean, she, she could have yes. run, really. Absolutely. And, and for all of us, it's always that, that thought, fight or flight. Sure. And and there was a period where she did try to, she thought, she talked to the 911 operator, maybe I can get out. And then she realized, no, she couldn't. She, right. was, she right. was stuck. So it really helped with her negotiation skills. She really was so compassionate and she remained emotionally calm, which really is the key. The other, the other, uh, uh, wonderful thing that happened was he opened up and said I'm mm -hmm. off my medication incredible you know so that right there then she could relate to that and then also that he was suicidal and also that he needed to go back to the mental hospital and she opened up about her own life too I mean yes. it was that you know I, I'm understanding I'm sympathizing with whatever it yes. is you're going through we went through different things yes. but she really was able to bring him in absolutely a, a great negotiator and mm -hmm. also he's irrational so she's not going to become emotionally volatile and she's not going to uh, not going to start screaming or yelling she remained very calm and then over a period of, of 20 30 minutes he also could have been we don't know his mental illness but sure. he also could have been in some kind of cycling the, the cycling may have slowly worn down where, where he goes up and down, yeah, up in and his down. okay and then also her being a negotiator and kind of a collaborator because he was having her call on the phone because he wanted a television station to come over and she was negotiating with everyone that together as a as a team they seem to the the three the three of them sure. seem to bring him down it, it's a wonderful thing in hindsight I mean thank goodness but you know we've seen these and we don't want to say we're going to see them again but right. inevitably you know there are individuals out there that are yes. that are out of control or emotionally dealing with illnesses what can we learn from this one one is it uh, got into any kind of a uh, conflict with someone okay. who is that emotionally out of control to upset them further. right because they're already uh, hyper vigilant mm -hmm. they already have a mission they already have some kind of delusion or uh, or uh, hallucination in mind okay. so you want to stay as emotionally calm as possible and then you want to try to work with them on what they want. She was great. He wanted to get on the phone. She got on the phone. He wanted to call a TV station. Yeah. She wa he wanted her to negotiate with the police. The big key here is, she goes, if, if he could give himself up, he hadn't shot anybody yet. Right. So right. she offered that as a negotiation tool. And also she cared about him. And it was it was very evident in, in her compassionate voice, Absolutely. in her tone. Dur during and after, yes. too. You really could. I'll tell you what, we say the word hero a lot, but Antoinette Tuff definitely won. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Dr. Buzz, great. good to see you. Thank you for having me.